Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Super pumped to have you here. So we hit 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, this pretty much started with me just recording, you know, what I thought about skateboarding. And here we are, which uh, is, is pretty crazy. So for this video, I wanted to do something special. So I put a Q&A up on my Instagram and I wrote down all the questions you guys asked me and I'm going to answer every single one of them. So I do not know how long this video is going to be, but yes, I'm going to be answering all your guys' questions. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So our first question is from not underscore Zaya and they ask, what's your opinion on zoomies? So I'm not the biggest fan or hater of zoomies. There's a lot better options, especially if you have a local skate shop because you can buy stuff from there and that will actually really help out the owner of that shop. But if all you have is a zoomies, I, I understand, but there's also a lot of smaller brands online that could really use that money more than a big chain like zoomies. But I know with skateboarding, it goes both ways because there's shoe brands like S, America, Fallen Footwear, and skaters will still buy Adidas and Nike, which are a lot bigger, more mainstream, not skater owned brands. So I get it, but um, no, I'm not the biggest fan of Zoomies, but I'm not somebody that will uh, bash another skater because they shop at Zoomies. But I think if you have a local skate shop, you should definitely go buy from them instead. And that's really all I have to say about that one. Our next question comes in from Travis underscore Eagles him. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And they ask, how long did it take you to get to 1K subs and what's your favorite trick? So I think I've had this channel for about seven months now and I've been posting uh, once or twice a week. So yeah, about seven months, I think. It might've even been a little bit shorter than that, but uh, yeah, it's in, it's in that range. Uh, you can go through and see when my first video was, but I believe it's been six or seven months. And as far as my favorite trick goes, I will show it up on the screen right now. So our next question comes from underscore Tapateo memes underscore, and I'm really sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, and they ask, actually a two part question, goals in skating and goals for your YouTube channel. So let's start with that first one, goals in skating. Well, I never really got into skateboarding, you know, to be the best or become sponsored or to become pro or anything like that. Uh, I got into skateboarding just to have fun and see how good I can get. And I feel like that's something that's really lost in skateboarding now is a lot of people don't do it for fun. They do it more as a competition or to get sponsored, to get something out of skateboarding. And uh, that was never really uh, my goal or intent. Really, I just want to see how good I can get. And I do it because I love it and because I think it's really fun. Uh, as far as goals for this YouTube channel, you know, I didn't think we were going to get this far. And right now it's pretty much just been a skateboarding YouTube channel. And it's because skateboarding is my biggest hobby and um, all my friends and everything I do pretty much revolves around skateboarding now. But um, there is a few other things I'd like to do with this channel, you know, whether it be once a week or once a month, I do want to post anti-anxiety um, messages or just awareness for mental health because it's something that I have struggled with. But um, as far as it goes, as growing goes, really is you know, the sky's the limit with this. Um, I, I just do this because I like it. I have fun and I really like the response you guys give me, especially for the board reviews and stuff like that. So um, I don't really have any goals, but um, the more people I can reach, I think it's, I think the better. Um, but, you know, nobody has to subscribe to this channel. Nobody has to leave a like or leave a comment. It helps out, but nobody really has to do this. You know, I want you guys to watch this content if you enjoy it. And I know that it's not for everybody. So for goals, we'll just say, you know, to spread a positive message, whether it be in skateboarding or, you know, mental health awareness. Those are pretty much the big things I want to do with this channel as far as goals go. Our next question comes in from Deli.Sandwich. I like the name and they ask, what's your worst injury and tips on how to avoid injuries? So my worst injury was I was doing a 50-50 front shove out on a ledge and um, I landed the front shove but slipped out because I was too far on the tail of my board and I got knocked out. As far as um, how to avoid injuries, Learning how to fall is um, is a great way, you know, not putting your wrists out and uh, learning how to roll out of things uh, helps a lot and uh, will make it so you're not getting hurt as often. The other thing is skate within your ability, you know. Um, if you've just got ollies down, don't go attempting a three stair or if you've done a few kickflips on flat, 
don't try to do it off of anything too big, you know, um, use baby steps and build up to avoid getting hurt. And I think that's really the biggest um, advice I could give you is progress at your own rate and go through the steps of skateboarding. It's not a race and it's not a competition where somebody's at and the amount of time they've been skateboarding is not going to be the same where you're at. So better be safe and still have time and fun on the board instead of sitting out injured. Also, Dot Ethan asks, if skating got banned in the US, what would be your hobby? Skating. Dot OK asks, best advice for getting better at Switch? Um, really, the best advice I can give you is just practice it. So the same, uh, the same motions you went through to build up to your kickflip uh, in your regular stance, you know, you learn by going down a ramp, then doing an ollie, maybe a 180, a shove, and then a kickflip. You know, do that same thing, switch. And if you ride your skateboard to school or to the store, you know, one of those ways, try just pushing switch. So the more time you spend on your board doing it, the faster and easier it will come to you. Winton underscore the skater and underscore Dank Lord both ask, how long have you been skating? So it has been a little bit over two years now. I think it might actually be closer to um, two and a half years, but uh, yeah, it's been a little bit over two years I have been skating for. Tommy underscore O'Donnell 05 asks, favorite song to skate to? So I actually do not skate to music. I prefer not to. I just, I don't know, I guess I like hearing the sound of the skateboard underneath me, but uh, I usually do not listen to music. And when I do, I pretty much just put on a playlist of, uh, I don't know, Yellow Wolf, probably. He's like my favorite rapper or, you know, just um, my Spotify uh, repeat list. But uh, it's never one specific song that pumps me up. And if, if it was my way, I would never really listen to music while skateboarding underscore goofy max underscore asks what is your favorite park obstacle that's an awesome question um it would definitely be manual pads but it is a close second to um just fun boxes or grind boxes i enjoy both of those a lot but manual pads are my favorite obstacle i don't really skate ramps as much i prefer to do more technical stuff with flip tricks um so yeah, 50-50 grinds, doing a lot of stuff out of them, and manual pads, manuals, uh, trick up, trick down type of stuff when it's not too big and low impact. That's the skating I really enjoy, so manual pad would probably be my favorite park obstacle. Hazo underscore D-O-Z-F asks, what is your favorite thing to do besides skate? So this is an awesome question. This isn't one that I've really addressed on my YouTube channel at all, or I think any of my platforms, but... I really do enjoy playing the drums. I did it in college, I did it in high school and in middle school. So playing drums is uh, definitely a big hobby of mine, but it's not something I'm really public about or talk about a lot online. I pretty much keep it just skateboarding and skate related stuff, but um, playing drums is definitely the thing I like to do outside of skating. Haley Williams 04 asks, where do you see your career in three years? That's an absolutely awesome question, Haley. Um, I don't know, I never even really thought I was gonna get this far, but you know, here we are. So like I said, you know, the sky's the limit, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, having fun with it. And just know that I'm enjoying this a lot. And I never got into this for views, popularity to be sponsored, anything like that. I just, I just do it because I love it. And I like motivating people and reading their comments, you know, that I've helped them pick out the right skateboard or help them land the trick or motivate them to go out and skate. So. In three years, hopefully I'm still doing that, but um, you know, life changes fast, so who knows what's gonna come next. Plugbra asks, what is your favorite deck brand? So that's a good question. Um, really, it, it depends. I like creature boards a lot. I like Revive a lot. And really, whatever board that I skate a lot or brand that I skate a lot, I'll progress faster on. And I do believe that if you skate the same type of board and same type of shape and size for a longer amount of time, you will get better on that. So if you don't change your board out. Um, but I also think that you should experiment with other brands. But my favorite deck brands, I guess for graphics, it would be Creature. And for the time I've spent on it, because I've skated four or five of these, it would probably be Revive boards. Um, but there's a lot of other brands that I also like skating, such as Fortune. Fortune's really cool. Dark Star. So there's a lot of different boards that I can skate. But as far as favorite, I would say Creature and Revive. Hey, it's that kid Trevor asks, who's your favorite skater? That's uh, that's an awesome question, Trevor. Um, I don't really have one. There's a few of them. I would say Bam Margera. I always thought he was really cool. And I think he's done a lot for skating. And I know he's 
crazy and I really like that street uh, skating mentality he brings to it. Um, I gotta also say TJ Rogers, I really like his skate style. Same with Tom Asta. So uh, both of them I like a lot. Um, I mean, I've got to give credit to Braille Skateboarding for getting me into skateboarding. So maybe Aaron Cairo. And other than that, uh, Jim Greco. Jim Greco from Deathwish and uh, Supra. He's an absolutely awesome skater and I love his style. And his video parts are different than what any other skater is doing. So those are probably all good answers for you. I, I can't really pick just one, but um, I, I have a, a group of favorite skaters. <laughs> Jerry Hunter asks, what's your favorite grip? Mob grip tape. If I had it my way, it would always be Mob M80, but they actually don't sell that as much anymore, at least not where I skate. So uh, any mob will do, but um, preferably mob grip tape just because it's extremely grippy. And our final question comes from Katrina and she asks, if you could make a team of eight pro skaters, who would they be and why? This is an awesome question. Um, I never really thought about this. So, who would they be? The first, uh, the first person I put on that team would probably be Shane O'Neill because um, he can do everything pretty much in every stance. So Shane would definitely be somebody on that team. Uh, also, Yutoro Ogome because um, he absolutely kills it in street league and he's really young too. So he would be an up and comer for street league for this imaginary team I'm making. Also, I want Andy Anderson because he also skates um, vert and freestyle, so that's a good variety of stuff to have on the team. Um, probably Jaws, because I want uh, the biggest and baddest impact skater on this team, right? Next, um, probably Chris Roberts, because somebody's gotta be able to do a switch flip Manny, so he's gonna be our guy. So I think that's five, if I'm counting correctly. Um, next would most likely be Seva Kruklov because he also kills it on manuals and because I love his style. <sighs> next, Luan Oliveira because uh, it'd be really nice to have somebody that could always top the battle at the barracks so we can get the team promoted there as well. And if I'm right, this is the eighth spot in the last skater I would have on this team would probably be Paul Rodriguez because he's the OG GOAT, greatest of all time do everything in every stance. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have an absolutely awesome day. And thank you guys so much for 1K subscribers. But after this video, we'll be going back to our regular skateboarding content. But have a great day. Stay safe and keep skating. I'll see you guys in the next one.